Hi, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm going to talk about the three-legged bar stool, which is required to uh, stabilize the climate and ensure uh, long-term human survival and thriving on this planet. Basically, the first leg of the three-legged bar stool is to zero emissions. We need to initiate globally a Manhattan dash Marshall uh, size project, actually even larger than that. The Manhattan Project was to develop the bomb during the Second World War. The Marshall Plan was to restore, uh, revitalize Japan after it was totally devastated during the Second World War. We need to initiate an emergency global project as soon as possible to remove um, to, to slash fossil fuel emissions down to zero. It's not a technological issue, it's a human will issue. And in order to do that, obviously people need to understand the harm that fossil fuels have caused in changing the chemistry of our atmosphere and the chemistry of our oceans and actually undercutting the basic survival of uh, mechanisms, the, the nourishment mechanisms that the mother, mother Earth gives us. So we need to zero fossil fuel emissions as soon as possible. If we put, for example, the US military budget, 700 billion, that type of money into expanding renewables as much as possible, getting geothermal, possibly getting nuclear in places like China and India for baseload power. We need to get off of the dirty fossil fuels and get on to clean energy sources. Also, energy efficiency can go a long way. There's many cities that are aiming to become carbon free by 2030. So in the next 15, 20 years, there's no reason that with a massive global project we can zero fossil fuel emissions. But unfortunately, we've left it too late. That's enough, that's not sufficient. It's not enough to bring us back from the climate precipice. We need to implement leg two of the bar stool and cool the Arctic as quickly as possible. For example, using uh, solar radiation management techniques like marine cloud brightening, for example. We need to cool the Arctic because the Arctic temperatures are spiraling out of control and they're disrupting the atmosphere and ocean circulation patterns leading to the extreme weather events and massive costs to infrastructure around the world. And they're basically cities are collapsing under the climate casino being flooded out causing huge infrastructure damages. This is uh, going to very, very soon be a problem with our global food supply. We'll have multiple failures around the world in different regions, some due to drought, some due to flooding, and the global food supply is gonna take a massive hit, causing mass starvation. We need to avoid this. We need to cool the Arctic as soon as possible to restore the circulation pattern. Third, the third leg of the bar stool, you need three legs or the stool is unstable. The third leg is carbon dioxide removal. We need to remove carbon dioxide either from the atmosphere and or the oceans. Remove it from one place, it will be removed from the other place. The reason why we need to do this is because the acidification of the ocean is undercutting and threatening the survival of the global food chain. The uh, also, the oceans are warming so much that the water is becoming very stratified and for phytoplankton to grow, you need sunlight, CO2 and nutrients. And with stratified water, you don't get vertical mixing, you don't get nutrients at the surface, you don't get phytoplankton. Therefore, the zooplankton suffer, the small fishes suffer, all the way up to the food chain. Uh, so we're facing a marine food chain collapse Without life in the oceans, there's no life on the surface. This is an extremely grave situation. In fact, it's the gravest situation that humanity has ever had to face. And what do we do? 
we see crazy politicians, especially, you know which party in the US, you know, climate denial, still at this stage, it's unbelievable. You know, these people that deny climate have a death wish at this stage. They don't care about humanity. They don't care about science. They don't care about reality. They're quite happy if the world completely collapses in sort of a biblical apocalypse. These people must be stopped at all costs. It must become a crime to lie about the situation because that threatens the entire uh, human race on this planet. So we need to implement as quickly as possible these, each of these legs of the bar stool on an emergency footing, on a Marshall scale project, on a Manhattan scale project, on an Apollo moon launch project. We need to treat climate change, abrupt climate change as the largest threat ever to face humanity. If we don't do it now, we'll be doing it in a few years when we have the first blue ocean event in the Arctic and it may be too late to uh, stop the changes that are underway because the emissions of greenhouse gases from the earth itself will, will specifically methane, will start to dwarf all human emissions since the industrial revolution. So we're at a very unique point in history, but there's no time left. We're on borrowed time. We have to use our human ingenuity to reverse the processes that are underway or our planet will be much warmer with no snow and ice in the Arctic and much less friendly to humanity and all living creatures on it during this transition of abrupt change. In the past, we've seen changes of five to 10 degrees Celsius in a decade or two. And this is exactly what is underway right now. So please uh, consider supporting my research. You can go to my website, paulbeckwith.net, and on the taskbar on the right-hand side, there's a please donate button. But raise awareness. Bring, let people know what is happening and demand action. Thank you for listening.